Hallo allemaal, welkom en leuk dat je kijkt naar weer een nieuwe les van Dynamic Activities. We hebben er heel veel zin in en we hopen jij ook. Als je er klaar voor bent, kunnen we beginnen. Doe je mee? Hi, I'm Rebecca from Dynamic Activities and today I have a fun music lesson for you. We're going to be playing with the differences between beat and rhythm. The materials you're going to need for this lesson are your hands and your feet. That's it! And by the time we're finished, you're going to be able to stomp the beat of a song while you are clapping the rhythm and saying the words at the same time. The song we're going to be using is called Way Down South, which is part of an even bigger song called Boom Boom Ain't It Great To Be Crazy from America. The first thing we're going to need to do is to learn the song. And remember, if you forget anything, you can pause and replay any part of this video when you need to. So here's what the song sounds like. Way down south where bananas grow, a grasshopper stepped on an elephant's toe. The elephant said with tears in his eyes, pick on somebody your own size. It's a very silly song, isn't it? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play with the beat. For this, you're going to need your feet. Here's what the beat looks like. It's not very exciting and it doesn't change, but the beat is really important if a marching band is walking down the street or if you want to be dancing with somebody. Here's what the beat looks like when you stomp to it. Way down south where bananas grow, a grasshopper stepped on an elephant's toe. The elephant said with tears in his eyes, pick on somebody your own size. Now that you've had a chance to play with the beat, it's time to figure out the rhythm. To play the rhythm, you're going to need your hands. And this is what it sounds like. Way down south where bananas grow, a grasshopper stepped on an elephant's toe. The elephant said with tears in his eyes, pick on somebody your own size. Did you hear that the rhythm was a lot more complicated than the beat? This is what the rhythm looks like for this piece. It begins with quarter notes on way down south, and then it uses a couple eighth notes for werbe, and then it's got some more quarter notes for nanas grow. There are even several different types of rests scattered throughout this piece. Now, to figure out the rhythm, you can do two different things. You can go back and pause the video for the music, or you can try to figure out all of the syllables. The first part is easy. Way down south, all of those words only have one sound, so only one clap. Way down south. For a word like elephant, how many syllables does elephant have? Elephant. Elephant has three syllables, so you'll need to make sure you clap three times every time you say the word elephant. Now our next job is to stomp the beat and to clap the rhythm while we say the words at the same time. For this one, it's probably going to be easiest if you stand up. Now that you've had a chance to stomp the beat, to practice the words, and to clap the rhythm, we're going to try to do all of that at the same time. You won't be able to see the stomping, but hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Here's what it sounds like. Way down south where bananas grow, the grasshopper stepped on an elephant's toe. The elephant said with tears in his eyes, pick on somebody your own size. How did you do? Did you make it all the way through? Were you able to stomp the beat and clap the rhythm and say the words at the same time? 
Thanks for joining me today for this lesson, where you got to play with the difference between beat and rhythm. You did a great job! I hope you come and join us again for another fun lesson from Dynamic Activities. This was it for this time. Leuk dat je erbij was en uh, hopelijk doe je de volgende les weer mee. Tot dan!